Menander, Greek, Menandros Menandros, c. 342-41 c. 290 BC was a Greek dramatist and the best-known representative of Athenian New Comedy. He wrote 108 comedies and took the prize at the Linnea Festival eight times. His record at the city Dionysia is unknown but may well have been similarly spectacular. One of the most popular writers of antiquity, his work was lost during the Middle Ages and is known in modernity in highly fragmentary form, much of which was discovered in the 20th century. Only one play, Discolos, has survived almost entirely. Topic. Life and work Menander was the son of well-to-do parents, his father Diopedes is identified by some with the Athenian general and governor of the Thracian Chersonese known from the speech of Demosthenes de Chersoneso. He presumably derived his taste for comic drama from his uncle Alexis, he was the friend, associate, and perhaps pupil of Theophrastus, and was on intimate terms with the Athenian dictator Demetrius of Phalerum. He also enjoyed the patronage of Ptolemy Soter, the son of Lagus, who invited him to his court. But Menander, preferring the independence of his villa in the Piraeus and the company of his mistress Glycera, refused. According to the note of a scholiast on the Ibis of Ovid, he drowned while bathing, and his countrymen honoured him with a tomb on the road leading to Athens, where it was seen by Pausanias. Numerous supposed busts of him survive, including a well-known statue in the Vatican, formerly thought to represent Gaius Marius. His rival in dramatic art and supposedly in the affections of Glycera was Philemon, who appears to have been more popular. Menander, however, believed himself to be the better dramatist, and, according to Aulus Gellius, used to ask Philemon, "'Don't you feel ashamed whenever you gain a victory over me?' According to Cecilius of Calact Porphyry in Eusebius, Proaparatio Evangelica Menander was accused of plagiarism, as his The Superstitious Man was taken from the Augur of Antiphanes, but reworkings and variations on a theme of this sort were commonplace and so the charge is a complicated one. How long complete copies of his plays survived is unclear, although 23 of them, with commentary by Michael P. Sellis, were said to still have been available in Constantinople in the 11th century. He is praised by Plutarch comparison of Menander and Aristophanes and Quintilian Institutio Oratoria, who accepted the tradition that he was the author of the speeches published under the name of the Attic orator Charisius. An admirer and imitator of Euripides, Menander resembles him in his keen observation of practical life, his analysis of the emotions, and his fondness for moral maxims, many of which became proverbial. The property of friends is common. Whom the gods love die young. Evil communications corrupt good manners. From the Thais, quoted in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 33. These maxims chiefly monastics were afterwards collected, and, with additions from other sources, were edited as Menander's one-verse maxims, a kind of moral textbook for the use of schools. The single surviving speech from his early play Drunkenness is an attack on the politician Calamedon, in the manner of Aristophanes, whose body style was adopted in many of his plays, Menander found many Roman imitators. Eunicus, Andrea, Hiauton Timorimenos and Adelphi of Terence called by Caesar. Demediatus Menander were avowedly taken from Menander, but some of them appear to be adaptations and combinations of more than one play. Thus in the Andrea were combined Menander's The Woman from Andros and The Woman from Perinthos, in the Eunicus, The Eunuch and The Flatterer, while the Adelphi was compiled partly from Menander and partly from Diphilus. The original of Terence's Hecira as of the Formio is generally supposed to be, not by Menander, but Apollodorus of Charistus. The Bacchides and Stitches of Plautus were probably based upon Menander's The Double Deceiver and Brotherly Loving Men, but the Poenulus does not seem to be from the Carthaginian, nor the Mostellaria from the Apparition, in spite of the similarity of titles. Cecilius Statius, Luscius Lanuvinus, Terpilius and Attilius also imitated Menander. He was further credited with the authorship of some epigrams of doubtful authenticity, the letters addressed to Ptolemy Soter and the discourses in prose on various subjects mentioned by the Suda are probably spurious. <laughs> <laughs> Loss of his work Most of Menander's work did not survive the Middle Ages, except as short fragments. Federico da Montefeltro's library at Urbino reputedly had Tutela au pair, 
a complete works, but its existence has been questioned and there are no traces after Cesare Borgia's capture of the city and the transfer of the library to the Vatican. Until the end of the 19th century, all that was known of Menander were fragments quoted by other authors and collected by Augustus Meinecke and Theodor Koch, Comicorum Atticorum Fragmenta. These consist of some 1650 verses or parts of verses, in addition to a considerable number of words quoted from Menander by ancient lexicographers. 20th century discoveries This situation changed abruptly in 1907, with the discovery of the Cairo Codex, which contained large parts of the Samia, the Pericaromene, the Epitropontes, a section of the Heroes, and another fragment from an unidentified play. A fragment of 115 lines of the Sicionioi had been found in the papier match of a mummy case in 1906. In 1959, the Bodmer Papyrus was published containing Discolos, more of the Samia, and half of the Aspis. In the late 1960s, more of the Sicionioi was found as filling for two more mummy cases. This proved to be drawn from the same manuscript as the discovery in 1906, which had clearly been thoroughly recycled. Other papyrus fragments continue to be discovered and published. In 2003, a palimpsest manuscript, in Syriac writing of the 9th century, was found where the reused parchment comes from a very expensive 4th century Greek manuscript of works by Menander. The surviving leaves contain parts of the discolos and 200 lines of another, so far unidentified, piece by Menander. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Famous quotations. The apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 33 quotes Menander in the text: "Bad company corrupts good character." Niv, who probably derived this from Euripides' Socrates, Ecclesiastical History, 3.16. He who labors diligently need never despair, for all things are accomplished by diligence and labor. Menander. Anerifto kybos. Anerifto kybos, best known in English as, the die is cast, or, the die has been cast. From the Ms. translated Latin, I acta alia est. Itself better known in the order, Alia I acta est. A correct translation is, Let the die be cast, meaning, Let the game be ventured. The Greek form was famously quoted by Julius Caesar upon committing his army to civil war by crossing the river Rubicon. The popular form, The die is cast, is from the Latin I acta alia est, a mistranslation by Suetonius, 121 AD. According to Plutarch, the actual phrase used by Julius Caesar at the crossing of the Rubicon was a quote in Greek from Menander's play Arephoros, with the different meaning, Let the die be cast. See discussion at The die is cast and Alia I acta est. He Caesar declared in Greek with loud voice to those who were present, Let the die be cast and led the army across. Plutarch, Life of Pompey, 60.2.9. Lewis and Short, citing Casoban and Runk, suggest that the text of Suetonius should read Jacta Alia Esto, which they translate as, Let the die be cast, or Let the game be ventured. This matches Plutarch's third person perfect imperative Anerifto Kybos. Anerifto Kybos. <laughs> Topic. Comedies Topic. More complete plays Aspis, the shield, about half. Discolos, the grouch, or old cantankerous, the best preserved play. Epitropontes, men at arbitration, most. Pericaromene, girl who has her hair cropped. George Bernard Shaw suggested rape of the locks, after Alexander Pope, about half. Samia, girl from Samos, four out of five sections. Sicionioi or Sicionios, Sicionians, about half. Topic: <inaudible> Only fragments available. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Standard editions. The standard edition of the least well-preserved plays of Menander is Castle Austin, Poetarum Comicorum Graecorum, Volume 6.2. For the better preserved plays, the standard edition is now Arnott's three-volume lobe. 
A complete text of these plays for the Oxford Classical Texts series was left unfinished by Colin Austin at the time of his death. The October edition of Harry Sandbach, published in 1972 and updated in 1990, remains in print. See also Poseidopus of Cassandrea, Apollodorus of Charistus, Diphilus of Sinop, Philemon, poet, Rhinthan, Oxyrhynchus, Theatre of Ancient Greece. Topic Notes. Topic References. This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Chisholm, Hugh, ed. 1911. Menander. Encyclopædia Britannica, 11th ed. Cambridge University Press. Topic. Further reading. Cox, Cheryl Ann, 2002. Crossing Boundaries Through Marriage in Menander's Discolos. Classical Quarterly 52 to 391 minus 394. Shapo, E. 1999. Performance and iconographic tradition in the illustrations of Menander. Selecta Classica 6 to 154 minus 188. Frost, K. B. 1988. Exits and entrances in Menander. Oxford, Clarendon. Glazebrook, Allison. 2015. A hierarchy of violence. Sex Slaves, Parthenoi, and Rape in Menander's Epitropontes. Helios, 42 81–101. 1, Goldberg, Sander M. The Making of Menander's Comedy. Berkeley, Univ. of California Press. Gutzwiller, Catherine, and Omer Selleck, 2012. New Menander Mosaics from Antioch, American Journal of Archaeology 116–573–623. Nervegna, Sebastiana, 2013. Menander in Antiquity, The Contexts of Reception. Cambridge, New York, Cambridge University Press. Papioanu, Sophia and Antonis K. Petrides eds. 2010. New Perspectives on Postclassical Comedy. Pyrides, 2. Newcastle upon Tyne, Cambridge Scholars Publishing. Trail, Ariana, 2008. Women and the Comic Plot in Menander. Cambridge, UK, Cambridge Univ. Press. Walton, Michael, and Peter D. Arnott, 1996. Menander and the Making of Comedy. Westport, C.T., Greenwood. Topic. External links Works by Menander at Faded Page, Canada An English translation of the Discolos. Discolos, translated by G. Theodoridis Pericaromene, translated by F. G. Allinson Menander, Monosticha, Sententiae, Einzelverse, Sentences from Menander's work in the original Greek and translated in Latin and German Sorgll, Menander, Discolos, 711-747, read by Mark Minor.